Hello everyone, Stephen Jones here and I'm following up uh, an experiment of my own following Whoopi Jump who posted a video yesterday. It's kind of interesting. Uh, see what I've got here, he had a coil and, a, and an iron core and he would tap the core and see if he could get a voltage off the coil. That's what I'm doing. I've got my oscilloscope across the coil, uh, a my a secondary of a Tesla coil that I've had for years and I've just simply put a a weight down there's a window weight iron and it extends to about there pretty much to the end of the coil weighs about 10 pounds I tap it and rub it you hear that ringing it's the acoustical resonance there it's a natural bell like sound in the in the weight and this is the type of pattern I'm getting this is set at one volt on the scale so we go down to three volts up to two and it rings and just uh, various patterns that you see. Let's go ahead and switch this to um, 2 volts and run it. Let's take it off a single and I'm just going to tap it and rub it. Okay, tapping definitely generates voltage. Rubbing it also generates voltage. See, just rubbing that, exciting the, hear the sound. And so we're getting, you know, very often up to the full scale there, which is two, four, six, eight, ten volts and beyond, do you see? Uh, how do you get a voltage just by exciting an acoustic resonance? Well, this is what the uh, QEG guys talk about. So we're following up there with the QEG device and of course the goal is to get significant power from a device. We've seen some very interesting effects in our studies through the years. I reported on some of those and now we're looking at uh, trying to ramp this up and get significant power and repeatable. This is repeatable so that's something. <laughs> that's actually very important. Okay that's all for today. Cheers.